there was such a clarity that I had within myself that dancing was what I wanted to do. Being at the Royal at Ballet School was where I had to be in order to do that and there was no question that I wasn't going to do it. My name is Romani Pydak and I'm a first artist with the Royal Ballet Company in London. I was 10 years old. Um, it was Saturday the 13th of May, 1995. Uh, I was dancing around the living room. I had a video on VHS <laughs> of Sleeping Beauty. And I really remember stopping for a second and going, yes, this, this is what I want to do. When I first went to the boarding school, White Lodge, I was in total awe of the whole atmosphere. Um, it was a place that breathed ballet. I mean, every single person in the building was there absolutely because they wanted to make this their career and they wanted to be the best at what they were doing. My parents had very mixed feelings um, about my choice to come here but I think they were, they were proud when I got in, um, but also quite anxious, because I don't think my mother or father had ever envisioned sending their child to a boarding school. But uh, yeah, I was a very determined young, <laughs> young lady. <laughs> my year started with 27 girls, and from that group of girls, I was the only female to uh, get a job with the Royal Ballet Company. There are three major companies in the world that sort of set the standard of classical ballet. The Royal Ballet, Paris Opera and the Mariinsky. It's, yeah, it's the, the best of the best, <laughs> really. I think in order to achieve anything at a high level, you have to have an element of single-mindedness, an ability to focus very clearly on one thing. And I think having a, a strong will, um, a sense of perseverance um, is really key in being able to achieve that goal. So our working day runs from 10.30 until 5.30 have a two hour break, and then the three hour performance, 7.30 until 10.30. But it probably works out about three and a half years being in point shoes in total, non-stop. I think the fact that my feet are so important to me and that we don't actually give them very much care when we're in a point shoe, what happens to them when they're out of the point shoe is very important. So for me, wearing Birkenstock is the most comfortable thing to have at home um, because of the arch support that they have allows that part of my foot to relax when it's been shortened and tightened by being in a point shoe. I had a moment uh, when I was given the job. At that moment, my heart did a little stop. It was almost a shock. I'd spent so many years driving and desiring for this thing to happen, and then it happened. So I sort of said, okay, thank you, Le left the room. <laughs> And uh, we went, went straight into a, a dance class. And as soon as I started dancing, I was like, no, it, there's, there's no worry about working it out. I'm going to the Royal Ballet Company. Absolutely, this is where I'm supposed to be. 